That's what you now, don't I? This is the Black Rifle Coffee Podcast. Prepare to get caffeinated. Are we recording? Oh, okay. So, yeah, my original statement. Holds. You padded, no, you padded your initial statement towards me to favor to you in that way. And then when the truth came out, it <laughs> seems very, very neutral of now you're agreeing that, oh, it didn't pop enough. It needed to be changed. I'm glad a second pair of eyes were on this. If anything, it was part of the design process where it was a good starting idea. And then we yes and in the creative team and made a, um, an overall better project or, you know. So you see project. an end to me just now. A what? You see an end to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, see, an, I see an end to you. You you see an end to me. You fake yeah. news to me. I fake news to you. You gave me I a did. headline. I did. That was only kind it was of true. Baby, and then you <laughs> got into it. You're like, hates bad bad design. Design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then, yeah. When we yeah. unpack that. It was a barely 20% true. Yeah, that's well, CNN. But there, there's a lot of tiger stripe. There's a lot of tiger stripe on this. I'm wearing, right yeah. I'm wearing tiny shorts. There's, the, oh, yeah, there's wow. a lot of tiger stripe. But there's got a lot of tiger stripe. Today, except yeah. me. And for you, you got spicy rooster. I mean, that's a rad fucking shirt. Of this shirt. I just think it's just so, so rad that we did a Western Pearl Snap tiger stripe shirt. I, uh, I love it because it reminds me, it, it, it's absolutely incorrect, but... What it reminds me of is Vietnam guys wearing jeans with tiger stripe tops and their Rolexes carrying like, you know, a Sterling or something like that back yeah. in the fucking day. Old cold like commando. Yeah. yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Wasn't the, what was the story behind that? Like they were wearing denim jeans just because they like they held up better than. I have no idea. I don't think they like actually it was, did it very no, often. I think it was super practical. I don't think they there was any practical. I mean, if you think about it, like. How unpractical is a pol- like a state trooper's uniform? Like, wh- why wouldn't you be wearing something that is going to help your job? Yeah, especially Not, Canadian like, state troopers. Yeah, they're dressed yeah. up in those those big bounty uh, outfits. But even a, yeah. a, a Texas state trooper okay. uniform, it is not practical. It's not pressed pr- pants. Shiny shoes, but, that, but that's not the like, way that that's not the way it started. It's not as if they were they were designing the uniform for practicality or purpose for a fist fight. They were designing it to represent the community, like representing the community when you're out in the community and doing your, your sheriffing or, you know, I, I, sheriffing, sheriffing. I, like that. I, don't, hey, I don't know. Sure. I, I got to admit though, when I'm in Texas Constabling? and, I, and I, I drive by a sheriff <laughs> and he's got the big badge, the open carry gun on his hip, yeah. giant ass cowboy hat and the press pants. It's kind of fucking cool. No, that's yeah, like, but if you're running through a field and jumping a fence, true. none of that is good. I think you just shoot him in Texas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got like, a quarter, boom. Dude, yeah. the way Texas Rangers dress and carry themselves, like that yeah. should be the standard. A, a yeah. Texas All Ranger long, yeah. is an investigator. Correct. He's still law enforcement. Yeah, right. Yeah, but but the practicalness of what your day-to-day job is is different than a state trooper. A sure. Texas oh, yeah. Ranger is there to investigate as a detective. Yeah. I've never like put on a law enforcement like get up. I, I wonder how like a standard like cop. It's like, uncomfortable as sin. Is it? Yeah, because yeah. it's like it's we well, gotta wear soft polyester. armor like all Underneath. day, dude. That's yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. It's it's yeah, and then the tucking point with a giant utility belt. It's like right. at least give them real durable, comfortable pants, actual like running shoes, like almost Merrell's, like where it's a hard boot mixed yeah. with a running shoe. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, but this is, we went to war and they made us wear standard issue boots instead of, I mean, non special operations, but the normal military. I know. Uh, they didn't have the best footwear for the job, per se. It wouldn't, but it would look a little bit strange if police were wearing fatigues and they pulled you over for a traffic stop. It would look. It would look a bit. Yeah. Well, I'm not well, saying he's not like fatigues. fatigues. He's you saying don't, yeah, type a, of a outfit. police officer has no real need to be camouflaged. Like you want to know. That you, would be sweet you, if they did. You want to know. Well, if you who could they pick are. the law enforcement uniform, what, perfect. What would I like be? this. This is I a mean, conversation. Be, yeah, yeah. There are SAPD has a form of the uniform that's 
green 511 pants with a utility belt and a, and a breathable shirt with their armor on. I like, think that's, and then night and good shoes. Right. If, so, if yeah. I was governor, if you were the I, sheriff of Texas, yeah. sheriff, of, sheriff Texas, of Texas, of all of Texas, <laughs> the sheriff of all of the Texas, yeah. Yeah. Um, is I would constitute casual Fridays, meaning you can wear whatever you want. Cause then maybe yeah. there's like a cross dressing police officer and he's giving out a Don't ticket in high heels and he's walking across <laughs> right. the highway like this. He's like, yeah. here's your ticket. I think it'd be hilarious. Just one, one day a month. Give me that. You can wear whatever yeah. you want. Casual Friday. Yeah, he turns around and he's got like a tail sticking out from underneath this. <laughs> oh, <shirt>. God. <laughs> oh, wow. We went there. I mean, I, that's what I was envisioning. If, uh, mm, if I'm okay. off base, yeah, no, on that I'm just one. imagining I think that that's Casual fair. Friday. Yeah. Or like that's Halloween. Imagine. Why can't why can't police in the job dress up for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> you get pulled over by fucking scream. Yeah. Like <laughs> some this some scary shit, dude. That's good. If I could do good. dress up like a scarecrow with like face paint <laughs> yeah. shit, right? Body armor with a big police badge on. Yeah. <laughs> Arr, just fucking with you. You know you're in that red light, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, happy yeah. Halloween. Uh, I'm gonna if all of our law enforcement just looks like they're playing purred all the time, <laughs> this would be great for society. Oh yeah. Like if they if they like like really uh, like armed up like army of two <laughs> like when oh, had yeah. a, a ballistic face shield yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. A, and a sawed off shotgun they Dude. all dress up as like the bad lieutenant RV Keitel did bad has lieutenant. ever anybody ever actually done that on YouTube those ballistic faces and shot like ballistic gel like I, I would imagine just the overpressure oh that gosh. hits the face mask even if the projectile was stopped I imagine that like overpressure and the force would just like Mm. Knock you out or like no kill because you. it's not sealed like, like I don't know because you, you you know they're designed almost like a welding mask without the seal yeah you would get you could get if it doesn't penetrate you'd get a ding but you're not gonna get over pressure on right. that you're but just you gonna see, get you really hard. get shot in armor whether it's soft or hard it still like breaks ribs oh, and yeah, yeah. Will play it would be like and... getting hit in the face with a sledgehammer like yeah, yeah. It's, oh yeah it really it, would. it might stop you're the gonna, bullet but it. Gonna yeah. knock it, your you're, ass out. you're not gonna have a good day. No. Well, that's, I'm curious to know what would happen. I mean, I, don't try that home, kids. If maybe, yeah, I maybe think, I think most people know that. Grand thumb, right? Yeah. Or he should ballistic do that. face shield yeah. with ballistic gel. Yeah. He's the one shooting a bunch of ballistic gel right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or that's AK a, guy. Yeah, or AK guy. Hey, yeah, good for him. Brandon Grand. Mm. Go Mr. for Grand. it. Mr. Grand. Yeah, go for Mr. it. Mr. Grand Thumb. It's actually, yeah. yeah, it's Mr. AK, I believe too. Is it Mr. Mr. AK guy? AK yeah, guy? You, can call, oh. you can call him Brandon Herrera, but Dr. it's Mr. AK. Dr. Grand Thumb. Dr. Grand Thumb. Dr. Grand Thumb. He was down at the ranch the other day working on some crazy AK with a new rail system that they're Ooh. building here. And um, I, I took my dad out there. So it was like my dad, my daughter, me, we went down to the range to zero her little 22, suppressed 22. We were bullshitting. And my dad, of course, right? What you all got there? You know, he comes walking up and you got some machinists and they're running pressure tests and doing a bunch of stuff. And he's like, of well, back in 78. Yeah, with, yeah, I'll with, tell you what. The year that he invented that yeah. gun. Well, I, I, I put a turbo on a 78 Ford one time. That reminds me of that. <laughs> Why don't you hand me that? I'll, I'll fix it right up for you guys. God, you know? a gem of a human. You gotta, what? you gotta remember that yeah. oil return line. It's always the oil return line. Yeah. Well, back in back in seventy eight, we were running horses across the low low pass, and you're just like, no, what seventy? That was no. Is that, was does that happen in life? Like once you just reach a certain age, like you're an expert in everything. Yeah. 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 I think so. Like, yeah. Does 70? Roger do that? Does he know everything? Yeah. What? You, yes, you've met my dad. It's I know. I'm just 100%. wondering if that's like. I he know everything. My father looks up like completely impractical information, but then finds a way to insert it into a conversation because I fact check them sometimes. So we're like, "Oh yeah, a cell phone, huh? You know, back in the day, they had these things called a flex capacitor, seventy four hour one." I'm like, "You're bull," and I Google it, and it's real. And I'm it's like, real. "There's no fucking way, dude. Like, there's no way. Yeah, no way." Yeah, your dad's very similar, isn't he, Logan? Yeah, yeah, he. Knows he's still everything. younger, right? He's, he hasn't hit that like. He's fifty-seven. Jeez, so oh, um, he's thirteen years away before he knows everything. So yeah, yeah. he's thirteen years. Have, he and I are uh, basically the same age. Yeah. Have, have, have any of you guys seen the movie Old Henry? No, I watched no. it. Yeah, no. did you it like was it? Amazing. You think so? Old did Henry? you finish it? Yeah, I finished it. I, I mean, thought it was the, awesome. The reveal of the movie wasn't enough for me to be like, "Oh my god, this I is so it. good." I thought it was I good. I don't take but the most like 
references for good movies from Jared. Nothing against you. You're like 50-50 with me. Sometimes they're phenomenal and sometimes no, they're not. It depends on what you go. If you if you go in going, oh, I don't know why he said this was good and you didn't listen right. why I said it was good, well, then you never come out is with it, a, is it's it always about, after the fact when I'm like, no, this is why that's cool. And you go, oh, I didn't even know that. Mm. But you is it about the guy? You got that, right? Yeah. Is it about what? the guy that builds all the train tracks? No, the, that no, childhood. It is. It uh, is about song. an old, old farmer old Henry in 1891 right. in Oklahoma that gets caught up in you know a bunch of bandits find their way trying to escape from a stagecoach they just robbed mm. at his house. It's like the it's, movie. It, oh, I got. It's like the movie Nobody, set in Old West time. A hundred percent. What's Nobody? A hundred percent. Oh, Nobody's a great movie. Yeah, good flick. It's yeah. to watch that. Also, n- nobody's a really good. What I is mean, it? I mean, it, it, it's a guy. We could give it away. Spoiler yeah, alert. Who is, cares? That, is that who right? Cares? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler, yeah. spoiler so, alert happening. So, so yeah, you're 60 to 70 minutes into this movie where this old dude that's been fighting with his son the whole time about ranching is now up against all these bandits. Well, it turns out he's Billy the Kid and he fucks them all up. Oh, <laughs> like, that's and they have cool. no idea. Yeah. Like, they just. He, Billy the Kid, faked his death in New Mexico, oh, gotcha. came into Oklahoma, and now these these young millennial bank robbers <laughs> think they're badass. And he warns them, and he, he, dude, he looks like shit. He's old. He's fucked up. He's like, and he can barely talk. He's just, and he's just like, I, and it shows him. He goes to his chest, and he's finally putting on the pistol belt, and he's like. Ain't none of you guys making out of that. None of y'all are going to make it through this. And he's like, I'll give you one more chance if you're out. And the dude starts to speak and he's like, boom, chin gone. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, you should watch Nobody. Then it, that's very what similar. Is it? So who's Nobody? It's, it's a guy called Nobody. It was like a former, like, which is clandestine unit. And it was like this group of people that they, if someone owed something, they, they we went and just fucked them up. And he's just trying to be like a normal family oh, yeah. life guy. It's, yeah, he's it's soft. Like, but, but he, it's, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's like yeah. John Wick if John Wick yeah. was just like a normal, normal guy. Just, there was some good beats in that movie. Oh, like no, at the end great. when he runs with the claymore and the shield. Like it's so yeah. stupid, but it well, reminded me of 80 action. 80 yeah, then action. it was like it, it did, felt yeah. so realistic. Like the scene on the bus when they're beating the shit. He like he's legitimately like it's not movie faked. It's like he's getting his ass fucking beat on this bus by like five people and somehow makes it out on top and it's right like, Dude, I, I, go down. It, it, old henry i thought was great it's a single location fucking oh, that's cool. movie so it never leaves their house essentially mm-hmm. so i i dude for what it was i thought it was awesome but it also sparked like like i just started thinking about like that lifetime if you were a a a young teenager or something in like the 1890s like and you lived to 80 or 90 years old you saw a big fucking change. Oh my god! Like yeah. mm-hmm. huge change. Oh yeah, eighteen ninety 1890 to nineteen seventy, pretty much. Like, yeah. Oh my god! Life as oh, you yeah. know it has yeah. fucking completely yeah, changed because you see how these guys live. Like, like there's no electricity. They're they're you know raising pigs, and all their food comes from what they have on the farm and. <laughs> well, if you think about like how crazy that was, so Oklahoma, and this is exactly the premise of Old Henry, is like you stake a claim to a plot of land, and if you could keep it, yeah, like as big as you want, you just got to hold on to it for a year, really, and then yeah. keep it. Huh. That's how as that long as the you, there's just the Indians didn't come get you, or yeah, right. Anything. If you survive, can you say Indians? You kept it for a year. It was yours. Thanks, so. you're fine. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Native American. I don't know. <laughs> I think you can. I think. Yeah. You, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. technically speaking, there are Indians in the world, and it's not. There's actually a lot more than us. Yeah, from I India, there's billions. One point one yeah. billion. Indians. Oh, you're going okay. No, I'm yeah. just saying in general. Right. Yeah. You never know what it's 2021. You're gonna no. You gotta, check the, you, you gotta check, check the them legal all. thesaurus. You know, the I think legal it's, thesaurus. It's updated <laughs> every <laughs> morning, actually. Yeah, you know, yeah the, the, what's the allowed. PC what's, police will yeah. come and police you up. PC mm-hmm. police. But you, that dude, that life, that life had to be crazy. If you started out on a farm yeah. with no electricity and you made it to the 1970s, mm-hmm. oh my God. I mean, you can even push that right some more too like growing up in the 20s and stuff and it's like and then, there's a little like you know gas and like cars are kind of thing tanks whatever and then like that's fucking, the and switchover then, yeah and then all yeah. of a sudden you're you got a smartphone and you're calling well, someone this thing called the internet when they started the airplane they invented the airplane 1907 yeah, yeah. is that right seeing like, Dude, yeah, like you saw the invention 
of an airplane, and mm-hmm. now there's airports and airliners. Whoa, right. what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. we saw in our life like the invention of the internet and where that's taken us. And it's not been good. How, it's not. How, <laughs> how old is the internet? Like, like general use of the internet. Nine, like, 1996, right? Yeah. Right for the yeah. dot-com boom, like five or that's six years like before. That's when AOL yeah. I bet Dave knows the answer to that I, question. My first email address was 1995. Really? The internet yeah. was 11,950. Oh, cool. Uh, when you, you put it, like what information. you said, you said in days, so 11,000 days yeah. old. 30 years? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, that sounds like, about right. My, I, I had a, my first Hotmail account was- What, uh, what do you guys think is going to be the thing that we look at when we're old? We're like, dude, I never saw that one coming, man. Well, you know, I, I don't know if it's never, I never saw that one coming. I think the VR thing, VR. we're definitely going to a direction yeah. of Ready Player yeah, One. But that's not that surprising. No, it's like, not surprising. I can see that come like yeah. fucking Zuckerberg with his. But I mean, but think about a, this. Medish, imagine, yeah. imagine if all of a sudden the four of us were in a <laughs> in a in a fucking local bar in the year 1985, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Man, what's the future like?" And we're like, "Well, everybody's just kind of on their phones all the time." Yeah, yeah. And to that person, though. They're holding a corded telephone going, I don't get I don't get it. What is it? Yeah. Who's everybody Why? need to talk to? And you're like, well, like, like you can access but information, <laughs> any information, like, and there's connectivity yeah. what? between what? a global community yeah. that Yeah, it'd be it'd be I'm sorry, to, what? Like they, they yeah. wouldn't get it. They'd be like, Well, I, yeah, you're trying to explain the internet, you're trying to explain apps, you're mm-hmm. trying to explain a phone where their only concept well, of go, a go phone back, is. Go back this. twenty years ago, yeah. VR was a fantasy, right? Now, like that is it's the future. It's what's happening. Right. Like we're going to live in VR. Oh yeah. It, it's yeah. 100%. The metaverse actually, is that what it's called? Right. Facebook I, metaverse. I don't know. Meta beta. No, no, beta, beta, it's, beta, metaverse. beta, meta mail. Beta, yeah. I think so. He called it. I'm I, right. Is that me, what it is? It's metaverse. Yeah. Cause yeah. they're, yeah, it's metaverse. I think that we're going to get to the point and develop camera technology to where we're going to be able to see ghosts. That would be and cool. Talk to him. Yep. Ghost? No, nope. you will. What? Ghost. I, th- yep. I think the one so they're going to be- discover that ghosts are real, and we're going to have cameras. So, yeah, there's a number yep. of things that have to happen here. <laughs> yep, there sure is. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I mean, maybe. Okay. 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 Like yep. he's saying it. He's just not saying it scientifically right now. If you merge the ability to like visually see frequencies, if we could shift camera- spectrums, yes, yes, and we developed. Lenses or camera equipment that were able to peer into other spectrums. Yes. There you go. Okay. I, I think yeah. my thing will be more of on like quantum mechanics, right? Because you have computers now that have are working in quantum mechanics. Then you have like the new Hubble that just got, I will start getting <laughs> That's imagery back. Be very I think in like, interesting. It is. That launches very soon. Very yeah. soon. I don't know this specific date, but like I think it's what 100x the the old Hubble. So we're gonna like we're gonna look at planets that we think are habitable, um, and then I think a crazy one too if we figured out gravity. That would be the one that fucking changes the entire fucking world because if we can control gravity, we can control times. I, I think we already have. I think a lot of the UFO sightings that we we well people right I say there that they have one the other day that was really they, weird. Did you guys see that one? Mm-mm. There was one you saw it at the ranch. <laughs> no, I wish. Yeah, that would be sweet. <clears throat> no, it's from a. It was another pilot. Yeah, saw these dancing groups of lights in the clouds. I, I, th- I think we're I think we're going to see that there's a, a vehicle, and I think we probably already have it. I think we we as a country probably already have the technology that we have uh, under we we understand gravity from a different context, and I think that we're defying what we know as physics right now. I think right now there are labs in the United States and there are DOD projects that are defying what we know as traditional physics and gravity. Yeah. Well, NASA, what was it? NASA and I believe Google in 2019 said that there was a practical application in quantum mechanics that a conventional computer couldn't do. And it was never like proven that they did it, but that was a statement. And then like, then you start to see the the difference like we have rockets that can land themselves now and like like technology takes those turns like really quickly and you yeah. wonder why it happened that fast like if if it was a revelation or like just computing got us there I don't know but but if you if you look crazy. at it from a historical context and you say what could we see and what was available like we're always typically twenty years ahead technology wise that we just couldn't see so the SR seventy one was developed. I think back in the 60s, 
And they didn't release the aircraft to be actually True. known until yeah. the 1980s. I mean, with how big the budget is for these things, like those trillions of dollars got to be going somewhere. Yeah. No, well, I mean, the gender it's, if it's into anti gravity mm. machines, I'm totally on board. That's, that's a great, cool. that's a good expense for yeah, my tax there dollars. Comes, there comes a, a, another side of that sword that you have to wonder if you're okay with. Like, you are allowing same people that have fucked up a lot of things to start fucking with something that could potentially suck us all into a hole. Like, like, Did, so you, I don't think scientists have fucked up a lot of things. You think scientists have? Well, I, I think you're talking about politicians. Yeah. Like yeah. scientists are not fucking up a lot of stuff. They're legitimately just conducting research and trying to figure out. Yeah, but then governments will steal that. Yeah, and then, the experiments you know. though. Yeah. Every scientist has a bureaucrat above them that's either funding or in charge of the program, telling them to rush, cut corners. Again, why the Challenger space shuttle blow up? Because we had invited everyone to watch it take off. There's a really cool program. Like- <laughs> yeah, there's a cool program here. I was, I was watching it um, on YouTube actually, like last night. I think it is, but it launches really soon. It's um, a SpaceX rocket. And it's going up and there's two satellites and the first one's running into a meteorite that's orbiting another meteorite. And they're going to run the fucking satellite into it. And then they have a second satellite that's going to capture the data. But the whole purpose of that is to see if they can change like the inflection points of gravity from the trajectory to like spin it out of. Mm -hmm. And the whole premise is like if an asteroid's going to hit or a meteor asteroid, however you define them, um, obviously separate. But if we could get it out of the path of the earth, Mm -hmm. I was like, that's fucking Armageddon, dude. It makes me like a little bit happy with humanity because you see all the bad shit and you're like, you know what? There's someone out there that's worried about an asteroid blowing up the earth and they're like launching rockets right now. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Good job. Well, that just means yeah. Good what job. I'm saying oh, you have the movie like, Armageddon. Yeah. You, right. Yeah. You, Put we're starting to get to that point where technology can destroy us. AI. They fucking came out the other day that, that robots like, were like learning and shit outside no, of the programming. They're replicating. Re- yeah. Replicating. Yeah. What happens when you put a, when you give AI like, Hey, we need you to figure out how how to find a way for us to get to the other the other dimensions or spectrums. And it goes, oh, okay, oh, I figured it out. <laughs> or, or you have a program that says like we have to stop like global warming and the robots like kill all humans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh fuck. I mean, that's the whole thing is AI will eventually see us as a parasite to the planet. I mean, we well, the, I mean, that's not a guarantee though. What, what what if they like give us the information we need to be productive members? You're still uh, riding the, the 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 source code for yeah. AI. There's an argument out there that says that you know we're still riding the code. We're 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 not just completely unleashing it to the to the to its in, internal capability or whim. So if we write it the correct way, it's not going to turn on us and kill us all. And there's also an assumption that, that in humans are bad that we're doing something very detrimental to the earth and that ultimately that's what's going to cause the AI to kill us. And it's like, well, that's pretty uh, fatalistic. You could look at it from a different perspective. You could say, well, the, the earth is our home, but it's our home. Like you don't kill the people inside your home to save the house. That's not. Well, yeah, essentially if AI had self-awareness, it would understand that in order to even have machines, you have to do what we do. I have yeah. a weirder hypothesis for you. I'm going to put my tin hat on. I was just thinking Please. about this. What if aliens were a part of certain mass extinction things that happened to Earth? Meaning the dinosaurs were here early on. They threw an asteroid at us, blew up the Earth, came down, built the pyramids, took all the fossil fuel from all the dead dinosaurs. And then they're like, hey, reproduce. So you have humanity hit. Let's just say we hit maybe like 20 billion is the marker where we cap like 13 billion, whatever it is. And then they blow us up, give us a couple million years, we turn into fossil fuel. And then they're powering their spaceships that run on diesel. Yeah. Seems pretty accurate. I think yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I no, think it's, it's a safe assumption to know that, that uh, <laughs> aliens are running their ships on diesel. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, we haven't I, done I would that imagine that there's a sheriff with a big years. cowboy yeah. alien hat that's like space in, in a white truck that's listed. Alien space, space sheriff. <laughs> I think Listen that's up, an boys. ACS. I'm alien space <laughs> sheriff. There is an ACS. There's an ACS. Space, space sheriff. Not the sheriff of space. 
you boys are trying to launch too many rockets out here. You got a yeah. license for those? Yeah. You know? The universe uh, is my Russia jurisdiction, just came out boys. Here and blew yeah, up yeah. a satellite and did not get my permission. <laughs> you got dark on. I got to cruise by the Milky Way and see if there's any galactic yeah. bullshit going on. Yeah. I got these uncomfortable uniforms I got to wear in this universe. <laughs> I, you know? I think that's the that could be the next movie. We either need to make a Western movie or a, a Western space movie. A Western space a movie, kind of like, space uh, movie. yeah. Was it? Who was that? Uh, Moon movie a few years ago, like <laughs> Space Cowboys or whatever. Was that, that, that was like oh, yeah. twenty years ago. Yeah. Space Cowboys has like all the old people in it. I don't. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm saying there was there was one that was like Cowboys versus Aliens. Yeah, that's, that's the one exactly that was like what fifteen. Oh, that's, Cowboys that's versus movie, Aliens. Yeah, and I think there was a comic book or a book. It was turned into a really shitty movie. It was really, Charlie Favreau really, did that movie. It was great. Yeah, no, yeah. It was so yeah. Let's bad. go with that. Let's go with. Yeah, I Harrison don't know how, Ford in that. Yeah. They're making another Indiana Jones. Really? Yeah. What? Five? Dude, yeah. It's Harrison Ford in a new Matrix. Chair? You see the new Matrix coming out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that's gonna be. Dude, I'm gonna watch so it. Just, I don't watch a lot of movies, but I feel like you have to. It's the Matrix. Yeah. The Matrix is. Like, they're doing another one, right? Yeah, they're They've coming out. Done it. Neo's yeah. like old, and he's like coming back into the Matrix. I don't know. I watched the trailer. Uh, yeah, yeah, Andy Stump went mo- on a motorcycle ride with that guy. It was Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. He's, like, he's uh, riding around on a motorcycle. Really he's a gun guy and stuff, man. He while you're on motorcycles, though. So it wouldn't, you What's know, up? You can't really talk while you're riding motorcycles. I didn't say talk to him. I said he rode motorcycles with him. Yeah. And then, I don't know. What, you, what are you going to talk about? The Keanu Reeves about? actually got proper firearms training for his movie, mm-hmm. unlike Alec Baldwin. What are you, but what are you going to talk to an actor about? Hey, that's really cool. You fake... Fake doing stuff. I feel like Keanu Reeves would be really, kind of cool to hang out with. Dude, I guarantee he's probably cool. He's like a gun guy, so you could actually like talk to him about firearms. I mean, he runs three guns. He that, like, that well, I mean, like, is everything he, that you talk to somebody about about whatever they do for work. No, he started really. a motorcycle company. Yeah, he's a cool like, dude. He has a motorcycle company. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like high end motorcycle. Andy, I think, really told cool. me that. What's it, it called? Like Inc. Arch, or, I think. Arch. Arch. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. Yeah, you could talk to. I mean. I'm just looking at most actors. I don't True. think I'm going to like have a interesting conversation with them because most of them are dumb. You know, they are. They're just kind of dumb. It's just the arts. It's a it's a weird weird community. Well, it's a very it's a, at it, least in my it's, I miss yeah. a couple actors, but not yeah, kind of yeah. like no not different usually. than like when you think about like the social platforms that there are in high school. The actors are just the popular kids. You know, they got money. They're out of touch with reality. They're in their own world. They do all their own fun things at the golf course and the country club. It's it's really interesting. (laughs) Like what's interesting to me. The granola eaters. Is the talk, like the talking head and the, the, the incessant need for people to listen to people that have no clue as to why are you listening to this person? Like, like, the like that, Milano that, wants to chime in on yeah, everything. It's like, and who it's cares? Like, like why are you Milano, listening to that person? Yeah. She's, she's an idiot. She has no experience doing anything. She fakes doing real things. Yeah. Well, why mean, do you want to listen to that person? She's fakes doing real things. Like, go talk to somebody that actually knows how to do something. Right. Besides, like, pretend to do the things that you do. They have some weird vendetta against actors. It's weird when, when people have like a strong political or influence and they've never lived anything or don't know about it and, and they use that platform to convince other people. But, I, I get it. But yeah. even like news like, anchors, just, just the job of news reading anchors. News. I'm reading the news. Why do you give a me? shit what Wolf Blitzer has to say or you know, any of these idiots? Like what, what's that, what's that uh, dude that was just fired? Como? Yeah. Oh, Andrew, is that his Como name? Can, it's like... Okay, Matt I, Como? Oh, I get I it. Which Como like, is it? Oh, you Both know, of them are everybody. They're, they're they're both unemployed. Yeah, right? yeah. He was trying to. You shouldn't have been listening to that guy to begin with. He's an idiot. Yeah. He's so Chris, who cares? Not it. It's just kind of ridiculous that people even have these really passionate or emotional connections well, to anyone. And I if think... he gets fired, there's like a portion of people that are really upset. It's like you understand he's just reading off a teleprompter. He's a fucking robot, basically. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you replaced the teletype or whatever fucking instrument that used to like come across, you know, where you'd read it. I think it's a lot. (laughs) I think it's kind of like, it's a lost art in the aspect of a national level anchor or someone of that nature has a lot more access to the source of information than most of us. Now, if they would use that for good, 
and break things down and say, hey, this is what's going on. Right. Here are the positives, yeah. here are the negatives, here's how some people feel about it. Here the, yeah, that, like would be, that would be the great. But they don't. Instead, they they tell the story like you told right before we started the show. It was very one-sided. About the bag design. Yeah. yeah about <laughs> and you were baiting to get me to feel a certain way on your team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we're sitting. We're sitting at the same table. Uh, but no, I think, we're on a team. I think that's it. I think the reason why any it, it, it's just how I I look at at some of the things you know we've gone through over the years. It's like the access to information I have now with just my phone of calling somebody when a yeah. news headline comes out. Hey, did this really happen? What's going mm. on here? I'd rather get the real story before I start spreading a bunch of stupid bullshit. So and and same thing with when like a bill is being passed or something like like when when you you can read between the lines that you're being baited into something. No. We can pick up the phone and call and ask questions, you know, mm-hmm. not everybody has that luxury. So it's like you leaned on national level <clears throat> anchors to be that liaison for you, but the, instead they've gone the opposite way and they've yeah. well, gone there's the a level of integrity mm-hmm. that was associated with that position just like maybe politicians way, 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 way back in the day, it was service. And now it's just a job and it's like right. climb the ladder and at any means necessary, they'll, they'll do it for professional gain. No, now it's just and then, popularity. And I mean, there's a number of people running for Congress that are just doing it so they yeah. can be popular on Instagram. Right. It's sick. I know. Yeah. There, there's a lot of those people though, because we've talked about it a lot where you'll listen to people in Congress or Senate and you think this person might not have a soul or in any regard, and they definitely don't have the capacity to think. Because it's crazy. Like some of the things that they come up with, you're like, whoa, well, that is absolute ridiculousness. This is not the way it works. When I like to I like to to put the parallel to war. I like it when people start talking about war that have never been there and they 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 plug in what they've seen in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like talking about yeah. it. You're like, that's not the way it works. It doesn't work like that. Like you you you're not like putting on a bandana and slicing throats and you know doing you know Rambo shit. That's just not the way it works. It's not you don't have one man individual I wore a bandana DAs. every day. You did. Yeah. They told me I needed to wear night vision and I took it off and I yeah. was like <laughs> wear a cravat. Yeah. No shirt. Yeah, no shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. how Ranger Battalion is. We're all is shirtless it? on Target with bandanas. It's mm-hmm. pretty cool. But there's a section of America that I think they think that's the way it is. They're yeah. like, this is, you had dual <laughs> M60s and you were shirtless. Just well, no, like, what's the EOZ? Yeah, 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 it's the same yeah, thing yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, I, have, I did that. I have some of the most. Per- you did all the Hurt Locker stuff. Right. You yeah. did it. Yep. That's the way the Marines But like the Hurt Locker, I have the most profound respect for EOD dudes because you're fucking a psychopath Woo! and God bless you when you want to go yeah. pick up like Middle Eastern ordinance that's like wonky and designed to kill you. But in the movie, they got to like put the black pajamas on and sneak out and be like an operative. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no one ever in the ever in an EOD tag would ever do that. But Definitely not. But it should have been around the story of like how terrifying and scary it is to work through that stuff. But- that's not Hollywood. So that's right. why people believe it because that's what they do. They get convinced by these fucking crazy movies. Yeah. And then they listen to those people because they're like, listen, I pretended to be a soldier for over an hour and a half on yeah. the big screen. So you better listen. Like I, I got a lot of experience based knowledge. But any of these guys, like, it's, like when you look at like the, the View, for instance, I'm like, who cares about whatever, like, yeah, take oh, whatever yeah. show? Like, the View's a good one. Though. Why do you? Why, why do people listen to that and go, man? I really, I tried to get listen. on the, I tried to get on the view for my book because I thought mm-hmm. it would just be awesome because like I'm everything that they hate and I thought it would yeah, be a that very be fun funny. conversation. It would be because you could troll the shit out of them and it would. That be was hilarious. my plan, but those like, are all <laughs> very out of touch with reality yes. women that have never lived in reality of what the current fucking climate of the United States is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they want to. Be, Pretend they're the leaders of pro- progressive thought. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's, it's pretty wild. It's just a bunch of clucking hens to me. Yeah, I mean, think about it. 
I don't even know what this show. I don't even know what we're talking about. I've, the view. Technically, yeah. I haven't really seen it. Yeah, technically, but I mean, I've seen, seen clips you. where you're like, "Wow, that's ridiculous. That's completely ridiculous." Is, is this like, is this where they it's like they give like, away cars to the the audience? Uh, yeah, that was Oprah. That was Oprah. Oprah. Oh, that was Oprah. Oprah. Damn it. Really close. You get a car and then you get uh, the I think that's Ellen that does the now you get a now you get No, that's a. Oprah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. but Ellen yeah. gives stuff away too. I who knows. Something I don't have I don't even have TV. Yeah. I don't you do. Know. You have a I have a TV. I've seen I've seen you have you do cable have or satellite. Okay, the means of watching in cable. In 10 to, to 12 years. Really? Who watches cable? Yeah. So well, I think we were talking like I just like go to YouTube these yeah. days. Okay, let's just you switch do? this up. Yeah, YouTube yeah. alone. You ever seen the show? Of course, oh, yeah. I bet. We're, I think we're who, all into it. Who do you think out of all four of us could stay the longest in an alone situation? If it was just 4v4 or 1v4? Like, what's the me, region? For sure. Without you? A, yeah. you? Yeah, what's I, the well, region? Humble, humble Logan. Yeah. Region? I don't know. Let's just pick like the standard thing like British Columbia, like Alaska. Mm-hmm. Like they put you in usually during like the fall. So you have like three to four weeks of like somewhat decent weather and then winter comes. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. I would say Evan would be number one, but I think he would miss his children too much. Absolutely. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. 100 days. No way. Psst. Kayla, did you know with Black Rifle Coffee's Coffee Club subscription, you can get fresh coffee shipped to you every month? What? You don't even have to go to the store. Whoa. You don't even have to leave your bed. What? Wow. How did you get in here? You might want to go ahead and join the Black Rifle Coffee Club subscription before one of these guys shows up at your place. No way. Wouldn't do it. Like, just because that's the challenge. I, I can't be away from my kids for that long. It's just not possible. Okay, but I don't but think it, it's... I, I, the thing is, though, is like, I'm not... This is a different scenario when it's the four of us. Like, this would just get boring. It'd just be because us four all, together. Yeah. Well, and then no. who would quit first? We would. We would. Uh, we we all understand priorities of work. We all understand how to build a fucking shelter and continue to make it better every day. And we know the elements that are about to come and what we have to do to fucking prepare for that. So it's like maybe that's not necessarily maybe. But what if like we never interjected ourselves into that type of situation to where we have a hundred days to just be alone we, with our thoughts. It may be we the greatest should do, thing that's ever happened and we may be more creative than we ever have We been. should do a two-week survival challenge with the four of us where we, like a naked and afraid do type situation. Do we have situation. to be alone, though? So boring. No, together. Together. Oh, right. oh. I'm saying, like, we all Wait, four naked God, afraid. we would fight so much, go, dude. We go out into wherever and we're like, Wait, the only we- thing we have, like, I, I don't like the no shoes thing. That, that thing is like, no, not no, that no. I'm being a, Let's that I'm being a pussy. Rules. I just like, I don't. Three items. And no oh, food. Ten. Oh, it's 10 items? Yeah. Okay. No, no food. food. Fuck. Yeah. No food. You have water procurement. You have, you know, fire starting capability. Yeah. It's just all, all four of us and we got to go out and survive for 20 days. I'm down, but like, like, can we modernize a little bit? Like, do we get like a compound bow or like, or we, what are we doing to, for food dude, procurement? Dude, go yeah, with no, the you get to rules. Pick your, I like yeah, the you get 10 to pick items. items. Like, oh, okay. Right. Or, or we get I, 10 I can't items. Shoot a Wait, are we, to, are we working together? Yeah. Or are we on? Yes. No, it'd be fun. It'd be okay. like one of those things where it's like two weeks or whatever, three weeks where it's like 21 days, survival challenge. The four of us, we get to choose our items that we go out with. Yeah. And we do a full like survival. We can't take any food. We can't take anything other than like the tools, and they have tools, to be primitive tools. tools. Okay, so tools. I mean, I, I'm up it, for it. We for could have one gun. I think you have to. Have, you oh, you have well, one. No, you can't easy. take a gun for safety. If there's a, I think bear. it'd be fine if we did like a muzzle loader. I think it would be fine. I think we gotta take bows and arrows. Like a gun's too easy. Not, we're not, it's, it's not so to easy. use. It's a just in case. Well, I, I think we. Oh yeah, yeah. if you yeah. can have a just in case, yeah, I'll yeah. bring like my nozzle or something. What is going to happen to us where we need a, a just in case gun? Yeah, I mean, we but might that's get just bored. a good just story. in case we, we're hungry. We we're going to shoot you and right? eat you. <laughs> Your butt first, just like a wolf pack. <laughs> okay, hey guys, just in case. Wait, I'm, no, I'm still, I'm alive, man. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, Logan. <laughs> like just in case we're hungry. Here comes the. How would you Please. divide and conquer that? Because like all of us have a fishing background, hunting background. Like I feel like JT would be in charge of camp. like cook camp. Like yeah. he would, he'd be the he'd camp be guy because yeah, he'd like maker. We come back and I he'd would be like, insulate. and my goddess made us a table, mm-hmm. build beds for everyone. Yeah, 
because I really do. I'm in constant like improving where I live. Right. Yes. I I've actually this reminds me of I've come up with a new uh, slang derogatory term for people. And I call them gatherers. Gatherers. Like, oh, you'd be okay. a good gatherer. Yeah, he'd make a good gather. Yeah, that's somebody that doesn't have a skill. Right, he'd to, be a good to, gather to yeah. be a. It's like, hey, can I go fish with you guys? Ah! Oh, there's some blueberries, man. Or, or, or like more of a gatherer. <laughs> kind, of, kind of look at him, and be like, you know, like there's hunters and gatherers. You're more of a gatherer, aren't you? Yeah, I like you're more that. of a gatherer. I like that, you know. Yeah. I would want to just have a loincloth and just like roll out with a spear bow, and like I'll come back with like three squirrel, a rabbit, and and maybe a crow. I don't know I, how tasty I, crows are, but it's it's difficult. It would be very, very difficult. I think oh, insanely hunting hard. Hunting and too. living off the land with insanely hard primitive tools. Primitive tools. It would be very difficult. We'd be very hungry. We would be hungry uh, the entire time. I think that depends time. on where we drop ourselves. But if we're working because together, if we're, if we're like, on the coast, but then there's four mouths to feed, right? So it's like you catch a fish by yourself. That's like three days contingent on the size of the mm-hmm. fish. You catch one here. That's that's lunch for four people. Yeah. It would just be a matter of getting the enough fat. That's what, dude. I think. I think if we were on the coast, we'd be all right. There's people that have That's gone out for crabs, twenty days and they've had like five hundred calories. Yeah, and it sucks. We'd lose some weight and it'd be great. Twenty days. I don't want to lose any weight. I'm trying to bulk up. Like, like Jared would keister a bunch of chocolate, so he's just like. We come back I after he's, like, after you know, he's made all the you're beds. Like, he's got like um, chocolate no, like, all that over That one wasn't chocolate. That was just <laughs> Easter. <Dude. laughs> Can you think about, I mean, I would trust you guys, but in that season they didn't alone where it was like two people, like imagine like you're so fucking hungry and you catch a small fish. You're like, fuck those guys. You flay it and just like cook it yourself. Mm-hmm. That would be like fighting words. I feel like Jared would be like in a heavyweight situation where there would just be like a tree stump that like had a bunch of snacks and treats in it. Yeah. Would just did you guys to go to there. Sear School? Did you go to Sear I School? I did. Didn't. You went to Sear School? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So Jared and I went to Sear School. So we would, we might have like a... You have a really funny story from Sear School. We've uh, already done a whole show on it. The, the did berries? Did you tell the berries? Uh, yeah. The uh, yeah, that was years ago where... I was out in the the survival lane, right? And we found a bunch of blackberries. And I thought it was hilarious. All the guys were back around the fire. And me and this other guy, we were out gathering berries. (laughs) 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 Ironically. (laughs) 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 And uh, I was filling up a canteen cup and like my cargo pockets and stuff. And I stopped. I stopped. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop. This is going to be hilarious, man. Um. He's like, what, what? So I put all the berries away and I took a few and I smashed them up against my mouth. Like I just like shoved them all in really fast and I'd smash those like berries around my, my mouth. And I came walking into camp and they're like, did you guys find anything? I was like, nah, there's nothing out there. And they're like, oh, there's like a berries out of your mouth. And they were so <laughs> mad. I was like, nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. Yeah, I got cargo pockets full of these things, you know? But the initial reaction was just pure <laughs> was angst. I thoroughly enjoy these moments when people <laughs> mm-hmm. are they're, they're they're so um they're so ready to just explode because yeah, everything like they're, they're, they're really angry they're they haven't slept they're really hungry I like to think that I thrive in those situations some of my best jokes have been during those opportune moments yeah. when they really hit hard, when they can really resonate with the group. Oftentimes I was the only person laughing, but um, that's all that matters. Though. It's all that matters yeah. because I now we have okay great to be a stories. Comic. I think it's fun. It is fun. Well, I mean, that wasn't, yeah, that, he, he wasn't selfish all the way. You just let it play for a little bit. I let it play for a minute because yeah. no, it's a selfish comic. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like ten seconds, fifteen seconds. And you're like just yeah. getting it got berries. It's oh, like, I wrecked the car. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a really fun school. Like your school is super fun, actually. I know. I tried was, to go. It was like really fun. I went to like a few of them, and uh, they were always like super fun. And slapped around. We can do a know, black rifle coffee steer school other than like the slapping I, around. I think, but like, uh, we should go survive. Th- I, I like this survival thing. It's funny. It's well, funny. We can just combine these two. We can have someone come be our seer instructor while we're doing the lone 20 days. I don't need a seer instructor, want instructor to, just to be put us, tough. Just leave us to our own devices. Yeah. We just be like, hey, we have a sat phone. You're grown men. <laughs> At any point in time, you can press the button. 
we'll get out there like 24 hours later. We'll be like, hey, come and get us. This is sucks. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> we got to go so back to work. Yeah. Drop us. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah but the, we extend the video to look like 21 days. Like, <laughs> but really, we didn't lose really any did weight. It. We're like, oh, we lasted <laughs> oh, 48 hours. <laughs> we, wouldn't, we, would, we wouldn't stay 20 days. There's no way. You didn't even say, you guys didn't even say the whole time in Alaska. There's a lot I mean, of work to do. But let's, uh, a lot of work we can saying. say five days. A lot of work to do. And five we, days is fine. But we met our objective, which was five to get our bears. Five days still meets the objective tags, of, did. hey, did everybody yeah. pull their weight? Did everybody do their job? Did we, right. did we find food? Did we build a fucking, like, a imagine story. if let's we. Let's do this in the Bahamas. Right. Swiss Family Robinson no, style. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. why are we so stuck in Alaska? Let's go to the Bahamas. Right. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. Now yeah, at yeah. a five-star resort. Yeah. Right. Then no. I'll procure the food yeah. from the <laughs> bar. Procure, yeah. yeah. Uh, we need to know how to make rum on our own. Our that bunk. actually sounds really fun. We need to what make is rum. rum. Is rum coconut? I think, uh, I think it's know this. sugar, basically. Is it just sugar? I think it's like sugar cane. Rum is, yeah, it's a very just sugar. sugar. I, I don't sugar. drink rum. It's like the yeah, one I'm a thing I don't, I don't like it either. Gin and rum. five days from when I can drink again. You're what? Did you say a year? 155, yeah. Are you going to Oh, you're going back yeah. on? No, no I, I don't know. I mean, I said at least for me to just be able to live with myself needed mm. to be a year. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, it would... It, <laughs> I think but we need to go. Rum, I want to drink. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go somewhere where it's kind of like we went to a mountainous area in the summertime. Like make it relatively easy, right? Where it's like I, it's still going to be it, hard procuring water. I mean, not that hard. If you have a natural spring like we did in Alaska, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, sure. I think it's but more it, about like the bonding experience than like can you survive? Because I don't. Feel like dropping thirty fucking pounds and then having dude, to put the that back tropical on. thing of like where we go and see exactly what was the Tom Hanks movie Castaway? Yeah, like yeah. we go we and, do and, Castaway and do real Castaway. Yeah. Where it's like okay, that's not bad. Can right. we? Yeah, one of my items is bug spray. Then fuck that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the bugs would be and we all at have times. to take a volleyball. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> thing of it is, funny. the thing of it is, is yeah, I, I was already thinking about this because. You'd have to protect your volleyball because somebody would try to fuck the volleyball. Like, guaranteed. Like, somebody else's volleyball. You'd be like, hey, dude, did. this is my volleyball. All the I know you're looking at it, Jared. Like, pre-fucked. Jared's got that twinkle in his eye. Pre-fucked balls. <laughs> like, keep your eyes off my volleyball. That's like, that's like the one rule yeah, that we have to live by. I mean, that would be fun. Day one, when you land, it's like we have to build a shelter, at least some form of lean to for like <laughs> rain, wind. You 100%. Know? Like, we have yeah. to do the thing. Like, yeah. hey, we're castaways. This is a simulation. Yeah. Five days is, is when a possible shipping lane will pass through here and we have to signal them. So we know our mission. Right. We it's have fun. to get to the five days. And we have to go. And I have a chainsaw. Is that one of your ideas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, primitive man. Bringing a fucking hatchet, though. That's that know. would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. bring anything we shit. want, just no food. Yeah. So that's fucking funny. Bring anything we want, no food. Gun, okay. fishing roll, yeah. rod, and fucking chainsaw, sleeping bag. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But it would still be hard, even with those things. Yeah. It would still be difficult. We could get maybe we get Laura to go out. Laura's there to take us out and show us show us the ways, the ways, the ways of the the wild. You know what I mean? She might be into it. She might be like, yeah, I'll fucking take you idiots out. It would like, probably be way too easy. She'd probably get bored. Yeah, she'd be like, hey guys, I'm taking off. This is way too easy. Go live in the jungle for three days. I'll yeah. come back and check on you, make sure you're not yeah. dead. Thanks. Yeah, it's always weird when you, have you guys ever watched those shows where it's like naked and afraid or whatever? Those I've watched really? a few of her episodes, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, it's strange because you're naked and that's yeah. the, you have nothing else and you're, I don't know how much is fact and how much is fiction. Uh, who knows uh, whether or not they're you know providing food in some circumstances or whatever. You know, kind of trying to you know guide the outcome. Yeah. But it, it just seems, seems like very they, difficult. Yeah, it seems like they pair people for drama. That they know will be dramatic together. One hundred percent. That's reality TV casting one hundred and one. Yeah. yeah. Like, but it would be fun for the four of us. I think it'd be great. I'm in. Do it. Five days, easy. I'm in. Five from days. Twenty to ten yeah, to five. Five days. Five, five, five solid days. because five it, solid. If we don't procure a lot of food, it's not like gonna. Not cha- it's not gonna fucking ruin your body. Like okay, you lose fucking eight pounds. Come back and drink some fucking saline. I drink yeah. saline. I think we should do it a little bit open ended and be like, all right, we got to come up with 
all of 2023 content and then we can leave. And then we can leave. But at that point, we'd be like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's yeah. do that. Hot dog commercial. Yeah, that sounds great. Do that. That oh, sounds great. Do yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. We just like rubber stamp that, you know? But it would be fun to do a five no, day retreat. You'll have retreat. a bunch of things come out of it because we're going to yeah. get bored. Dude, we're no, but hold on. Super, hold super on, hold bored. on. You're right. Okay. So if we do this and wherever it is, I think you should bring whatever you want. Because even if we had a gun, it's not the challenging part, but we have no food. That's the thing. Because even if you go out and you shoot something and like we shoot a squirrel, we're still having to like skin and, and prepare a squirrel mm-hmm. and gut it. Like there's, it's still work, and it, but it's not going to be like starvation. Like we know we can get stuff, but it would actually like help the craft as far as like gutting animals yeah. and working through it. That'd be super fun. It'd be very fun. Like no food. No water. Jared's like, I got us a bird. I'm like, it's a fucking bald eagle, dude. You, go. you kill a fucking bald eagle. Yeah. It's a California condor, Jared. They're not even supposed to be up here. It's a giant bird. This is going to be a great chicken wing. Shut yeah. up. It's beak stew, dude. I'm yeah. <laughs> beak stew. Oh, wait. Did you, if we got ostriches, can we make giant chicken wings? Yes. Yeah. Ostriches yeah, why great. Not? The best ever food review show did it. Did they what? really? There's a fucking whole one hour special on YouTube about it. I will go kill an ostrich Let's in the next do this week and tomorrow. a half. He makes the largest buffalo wings ever. Oh. And he makes the largest deviled egg ever. Oh, Out of an ostrich egg? That's a yeah. great oh, I idea. Want this so bad. Yeah, that's so a great idea. Well, you guys remember, I cooked my ostrich eggs. Remember, I went to, I think it was mm-hmm. Ox Ranch. They had one. I grabbed it. It was a couple years ago. Remember that fucking giant one with all the steaks? I need mm-hmm. one. Yeah, they're delicious. They're delicious. Let's do this. They're for- giant eggs. Thanksgiving next year. Christmas. I'll go kill an ostrich for Christmas. Xmas. What's, I can. They have them at is the that like the X Men yeah. holiday? What is know. it? Yeah. Christmas. Hey, X-Men. do you guys really want to fucking eat an ostrich? I'll, 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 yeah. go, I'll oh, go kill one. For I'm not kidding. I want a giant buffalo. Watch the watch the fucking video. What Best channel? What ever channel was this? Food review show. That's what the channel's called. Yeah. Uh-huh. Best ever food review show. Sunny. I think you're yeah. just giving a, your opinion. The nope. best ever food. No, yeah, that's that's big, that yeah. What's it like? The size of my arm, probably. Like, bro, it's fan. It's a lot. Yeah. Does it fit in a Traeger? We could and probably did. tie it together. Like, right. like this. Did and he? Then- uh, did he smoke it? Did he deep fry it? Uh, the wings they fried, right. but they smoked Good. the whole bird. Okay, interesting. Uh, which they had to cut the grill out to get it to fit. Mm. Did they eat the neck? The yeah, neck uh, meat. they neck used meat. it for the uh, du jour. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Only so one if- of the survival items would be a Traeger. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and I have the wild game, you know, pellet mix. Jared's like, I brought the generator. Logan's like, I brought the Traeger. <laughs> and I <laughs> brought the double wide. <laughs> and I brought a bunch of gas. <laughs> this is just turned into a vacation. <laughs> we're just talking about a camping trip. That's <laughs> what so we're talking about. A five day camping trip. It wasn't really trip. survival. It was just a camping You guys, trip. actually, that's super funny. We were like, Five day survival, limited food and options. It's, and it's a, just like the R, the Black Rifle Coffee RV that's like thirty eight feet long. Right, we have nothing out here. <laughs> How are we gonna survive? It's gotta, yeah. I only have thirty eight cases of Lacroix. <laughs> well, you know, I've got I got to limit my Lacroix. You know, it's it's a trailer for that's like four men in the wilderness. <laughs> it yeah. cuts you. Yeah, it's, yep. it's just flipping yeah. burgers on the fucking trailer. Yeah. <laughs> It's like Jared comes back from a hunt and it's just packaged meats. <laughs> it's like free range bison. <laughs> yeah. It's a, nice it's a like. Snake River Farms on there. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, crazy. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird. Ran into one of their wild game. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I would love that. That, w- that would be a lot of fun. So basically, we're just we we're signing up for a five day camping trip. Yeah. Where we, uh, a, a five what day we're bringing. content based camping trip where we just come up with new content ideas. That sounds slick. We should film the whole thing as a yeah. special for Black Rifle Coffee podcast. Yeah. Who else? Is it just the four of us? Yeah. Who else would we bring? A camera guy. Plus Clancy fans? Pants Clancy. I don't know. I would probably reach out to Keanu. Yeah. If yeah. He wanted to go. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you're bringing Keanu, right? I'm going to bring MGK. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. No, I don't like. God. I don't know why. What? I was gonna no. say Megan Fox, and I've Evan heard her talk. And she's like, annoying. Hmm? So, 
I don't know who you're talking about. He's like a rapper. It was uh, everybody has to bring a surprise celebrity. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> no, but you get it. You get when you procure the celebrity, you get assigned to somebody. So it's right. like it's like a Santa, white Santa gift or whatever they're called. Oh, yeah. like, so, so like I get to pick yours. Okay. So I try okay. to find a celebrity that would just drive you fucking insane. Like <laughs> <Okay>. Rosie <laughs> Goldberg. Wait, wait, wait. Rosie <laughs> O'Donnell. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell. Jerry, what are we eating? <laughs> I don't know if she's on. I no, I that. definitely would bring someone that everybody would want to hang out with. Yeah. You bring like Chang Tatum? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or you'd bring like Travis. No. No. Oh, we got to go from it a can't new pool. be somebody. Oh, brand a new, new pool. So a new person. Yeah. yeah. New okay, person. So a brand new person your, yeah. is your plus one. Yeah. Interesting. I'd bring like, um, hmm. Jared's already texting someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, already, I'm already texting someone. Man. I, I don't know. I think, I think I'd bring like, um, that Les Stroud, that guy that, that did, uh, Survivor man. <laughs> that guy's Survivor awesome. man. That guy's awesome. Hey, this is my plus one guy. It's just, uh, I, it's not my ringer. You know, it's not I a big deal. Bring, it's not my ringer. Yeah. It's just, just my buddy. You I know? bring AJ Buckley. Yeah. Who's yeah, that? The, He's the on the SEAL team. Former oh. director. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about William F. Buckley, which is the oh, former AJ director of the Buckley. agency in 1957 yeah. or something like that. No. Oh, yeah. You know. But you don't get that defeats the purpose. You don't get your guy. Oh. You assign, like you have to sign me one, and you're oh, trying to I fucking to troll me because they're you. attacking. Oh. Okay, like okay, okay. you see him in camp, but when I'm like, yeah. all right, guys, I'm going fishing for the day. It's your partner. It's my fucking person. Yeah. So, and it's I'm your like, guy. And I'm having to hike through or gal, yeah. right? Or Whatever. Gal. But <laughs> so you got to hike. The Black Rifle Coffee Surprise Celebrity Camping Trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Supply this. Surprise Celebrity. Because it makes it fun if you get to pick just a rad dude, then it like defeats the purpose of making it good for TV. Yeah. Like, right, but this is for controversy. Yeah. Who do we? Boy, we could we could troll each other pretty good. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd go with RuPaul. Yeah, uh, that would be <laughs> yeah. that would be pretty pretty wild. I don't know. I think I'd bring Heather. <laughs> because, <yeah. laughs> I would give Jared Kamala Harris. <laughs> That's your celebrity, All right? I, I think she'd be fun to hang out with. <laughs> what? It's, she is fun. It's, I would give you Kamala Harris. No, oh, <laughs> you don't have a choice. Yeah, somebody. I'm gonna bring Kurt Russell. Oh well, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. But you have to yeah, assign. I don't know. You're not. Dude, no, listen. You have to assign Evan a celebrity guest. Kurt and, Russell. You're just not okay. Thank you. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> thank you very much. All right. He doesn't I really understand. He understand. He's a Marine. Yeah. 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 Not getting the. Joystick. I want to hang out with Kurt Russell. What do you want from me? Yeah. Well, then hang out with him when you're stateside, not yeah, when yeah. you're in the four camping okay. trip with okay. celebrity surprise celebrity. Yeah. Okay. Kurt Russell, fun. Do you? Yeah. Who? That's that's an interesting question. Who would you, if you could hang out with anybody you wanted? Who would you hang out with? If you're like, I'm going to press the button and this person's going to be here tomorrow. Like they have to be alive. Celebrity to be alive. or like any, doesn't matter. anybody on the planet? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. They just have to be alive. You got to be alive. Press the button. You got to hang out with them tomorrow. Who is that? I like Putin. Interesting. What? Wow. That's a he's, weird one. He's crazy, man. He's crazy. I'm, you're right. It'd be wild. It'd be an interesting conversation. Wait, see, that would make sense if you got to do a day in the life of with. Like, you know, it's almost like the yeah. interview when he mm. hung out with Kim Jong Un, yeah, or whomever. Who, yeah, I mean, I I just want to see how Putin be living. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like I want to so see. Go, what, I want to know him. what he's eating. Yeah, you got to go to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'd have to go to Russia. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm easy. I'd go Elon Musk because with his money and my ideas, right, we would do a lot of fucking. Yeah, the boring company. Spending. Yeah, the boring company would be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be so boring. <laughs> yeah. He would be like, oh my God, I didn't think about that. Elon, why haven't you done this yet? Oh, fuck. You're staying here with me. Yeah. 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 yeah Who that are you? Sense. I'm the chief spending officer. <laughs> chief spending officer. <laughs> right. The, the CSO. Chief, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm the CSO. <laughs> He's like, for boring. But, but he would have so much fun with every dollar I spend. Yeah. He goes, oh my God, I cannot stop laughing. Twitter is on fire right now. Yeah. yeah. With the flamethrower. His board of directors yeah. is like, that guy's a lunatic. Yeah. You can't hire him. Like, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. I gave him a gave him $100 million he marketing budget. Yeah. Reverse yeah. recycling? What does that even mean? <laughs> it's fucking pissing everyone off. <laughs> Reverse recycling. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's a reverse yeah. recycler. The yeah. world's yeah. currency is now the yellow <laughs> NFT. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Like, wait, you did what this morning? I took yellow public. Yeah. <laughs> it made how much money? We went up four billion. <laughs> yeah, you could shoot rockets at the moon and draw a smiley face oh, on the dude. moon. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a full moon, a no, dick, full a dick moon, full, full yeah. moon deck. Moon deck. Yeah. Full moon deck. And then the navy would be trying to figure out who, mm-hmm. who did it. Right. <laughs> it was me, stupid. <laughs> it was me, stupid. It was me and Elon. Uh, <laughs> Look at all these satellites we just launched. What do they do? We can't tell you just yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you, this, you might be able to do that one day. You know? I hope. What yeah. about you, Evan? Where are you, who are you? Well, he stole the one I was going to say because I, I think oh, that, well, that would maybe be interesting. So I, I have to... I have to I have hold and figure it. out somebody else. Yeah. So if he's we already could, taken it and he's in this sequence, then but we could do a partner one. We could do a partner I hangout. Mean, I think it would be very interesting to just unpack reality with that guy for an, an after just an afternoon. Like what what does your lo- life look like? What is it? What's going on in there? Right. So there's that's a significant yeah. issue. This is it would be a big event to to spend that much time with somebody. It would be. Uh, outside of that, people that are alive that you'd actually want to spend time with, find interesting. Oh, uh, man, that's that's tough. It's really tough. I, I Kurt Russell does not it doesn't really do much for me. I didn't say Kurt Russell. I, he was coming to. Oh yeah, that's right. You're Putin. Uh, that's a good one though. Yeah, like, Putin is a really good well, one. I mean, I think he has more money than Elon does too. Well, he has all the people's money. Yeah. That's the way communism works. Yeah. He gets it. Yeah. He gets it all. It would be all a the control. Really fun time. Yeah. Yeah, when you have your own country mm. that you get to do whatever you want yeah. in because mm. you are the rule, then yeah. yeah, Logan has a different it's a different level. Yeah, I went with a guy that has enough money to yeah. invent time travel, but, right. but Logan's going to be... Like we don't know. Maybe yeah. Putin has a fun palace. I I think what I I that place is real fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would. I think I would definitely do this one. So I'd definitely do this one if I had the opportunity to pitch ideas or movies for an entire day. I'd want Quentin Tarantino. Like, uh, okay, so this is what I want to make. This is what I want to make. How do we make it? Look like. I like where your head's at. I would How say Guy Ritchie would yeah, be but better. I wouldn't but go Quentin Guy Ritchie or the Coen Brothers or yeah, yeah. like there's some iconic guy, but Quentin Tarantino Guy, is, the, Guy Ritchie is cool. I, he's way cooler. I like the shooting. If I like we're the in style. reality though. I like the style better. Quentin doesn't make other people's films. So. Uh, this we're, we're we're living in a fiction right now. <laughs> I, we're, we're, not, we're, we're not. We're not. Okay, so Clinton now is willing Wait, to. Take, he's talking about hanging out with Putin. <laughs> what? That's that, real. It's not a real thing, man. I'm just saying. Okay, in this life, Clinton will make whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay. just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's yeah. hang out. Here's this idea that we want to do. Like, if we could take our idea, the movie, who would the director be? Which I'm sh- after you. So answer that question collectively after Matt answers who he would hang out with. Oh, I don't even know. You guys like took all the good ones. There's it's got to be like, like a nine like billion the, people. The, the, Paul Cawthon or the somebody? Next, huh? Paul Cawthon or somebody? Dr. I don't, Dre? I don't think that would be my Dr. Yeah. Dre. Fuck. Well, Dr. I, Dre? I, I think whoever, I'd go to space. Whoever's next going to space. Even if they're not a celebrity, I'd go Paul with them. McGregor? You, wanna, you mean like, you Conor mean McGregor? Space? I don't know, man. I don't know what you're I mean, into. Like, I would go to space. However, I get to space. Really? Whoever's, whoever's in space. You want to go yeah. to space? I want to go to space. I'm not really keen well, on space. That's kind of also Elon, though. He's kind of that yeah. guy. No, but he doesn't go guy. to space. His people go to space. I oh. want to go to space. See, there's too many problems that can happen in space. Right? I'm going to die no matter what. My life is fragile, and the hourglass is turned upside down, and it's going to go away one day, so might as well fucking do it in a rocket if I blow up. That's the way I look I'm at going space. to space. Yeah. You're going to space. I saw Jared and I in space. I, and, and that's really? crazy to me. Yeah. I, I mean, Jared will probably dead. be the first one in space, realistically, sure. out of the group. No, he's not. He's taking yeah. me. We're we but already apparently, like, yeah, it's a two-way trip. Soul bonded to go to space together. Sure. You can come, but what's it? So, okay. so next, moving on, then, what is the uh, the director that you would hire to 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 do the movie? I already me. Yeah. I picked mine. I already said yeah, Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Guy Ritchie. He's my favorite, my favorite director of all time. Bar none. Okay, especially like it's a when, solid choice. When mm-hmm. you look at his. At how much, how great he's gotten over the last few years, like yeah. to where we're at now, the gentleman, 
Man, this his, dude his is ability to write dialogue. dialogue. The is, gentleman. Yeah. Second to okay. Nine. Maybe I would hang out with Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Guys, he does have, yeah. a yeah. he has a pleasure yeah. yacht. He has a pleasure yeah. yacht. He does have a pleasure yacht. Has to wife yeah. for like a week pass. Uh, yeah. You're right. Well, well, however yeah. long we're at sea, honey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's a, that's a it's good, a sea pass. It's a good segment because if you were to say, hey, w- what actor or actress, in your case, Matt, would you <laughs> want to hang out with? I'm, I'm opening it up to male or female because I, I'm just saying. Right. You but have options. Well, that's, that's, he's an that's actor. the one. Actor. Yeah. Who would you hang out with? Well, we're still let's we're still doing the director here. We uh, you said I wanna, it. I wanna, you said well, I wanted to hear the other. He said the same. Yeah, I said the same. And yeah. I said oh. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, man. He seconded. And I said all in favor. I said aye. Motion passed. Guy Ritchie. I, I mean, that's fairly so. Easy it's with three me guy Ritchie. Charlie Hunnam. One. Charlie Hunnam. Yeah, that would be an Charlie awesome Hunnam. cameo. Who? Charlie Hunnam. Who's that? Jax Teller. Yeah. Who's that? He was in Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Blonde he was guy. King Arthur. King Arthur. He was in The Gentleman. Do you guys know a lot of stuff? Like I'm a movies. movie nerd. Well, yeah. yeah, I watch everything. It's called a cinephile. Right. Yeah, that too. Ooh. What about you? What? An actor. You said DiCaprio. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Man. Actress. Right. Ooh, Kate yeah. Mara. Well, like, like what's, what, what are you hanging out with? Is this educational or fun? Because I feel like Leo would be fun. We'd sit in the boat and like drink whiskey and I, and I would both. make him laugh. Yeah, yeah. I think it's you both. Know? I think it's like, yeah, I think it's both. But like that's not like iconic. I would like you know maybe Arnold pre pre saying stupid shit. Right. Like nineteen like two thousand like five Arnold. Yeah. yeah. That'd be that'd be legit. Yeah. Yeah. That would okay. be that would be pretty legit. Yeah. Like pre governor. You know pre politics. Yeah. Like just action star. Right. That's what I want. I could see that. Like. I think. I think I would go with like Danny McBride or something. Oh, that's, yeah. Good. that's yeah. I think yeah. I think I would go with Danny McBride. Yep. Do you think I, he's I think, that funny in real life? Yeah, yeah he, I yeah. do. I think I think he's. I, I'm just imagining. Maybe I'd be disappointed, but I think he would be fucking hilarious. I think, dude, he's, he's got to be crazy. He's got to. Everybody says that all my friends hung out with him recently because really they went to do. They they were in the uh, righteous gemstones. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep. And they said he is fucking a riot. He, That's all. Awesome. He That's lived good up to, hear to it. it. He looks like a crazy person because of the roles that he plays. But like, he that smart. guy he is fucking those. hilarious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's hilarious. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, probably that. I mean, I would I take know. Kate Mara on a date. Don't know Kate, who that is. Kate Mara? Yeah. Who is that? Uh, do you remember the first season of House of Cards? No. Oh, she was also Z- in Shooter. Zoe. Yes, she was in Shooter. Uh, I'll show you her. Okay, okay. She yeah. was also in Fantastic Four, the first remake. Mm, interesting. She's Louise. Oh yeah, no, exactly. What, what's about. the reasoning? You just yeah. you just fancy her. He's little fancy pants. Duh, you know, she's yeah. kind of normal looking. What? Right. Um. He likes Why a good is normal that a kind of like person. a babysitter. <laughs> likes a good. Oh, uh, normal- <laughs> there it is. He's got the he's got the babysitter <laughs> thing. It's like the slightly. Yeah. Do you know red, who I'm talking dark. about? Yes, I saw the photo when he held it up too. Yeah, Jared likes a good normal looking person. You know? Yeah, not yeah. not a fan, man. Sorry, mm-hmm. it's very babysitter. Okay. That's very you. Okay, it's very. Okay. I mean, historically knowing what well. you like to choose with your penis, very very in line with that. Yeah. Jared's across. The, he's been across. The it spectrum. has its own sense of smell. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't saying like what he used to throw in dumpsters. I'm saying like his <laughs> thing. <laughs> you smell a lot, bite me, shit. Oh <laughs> man, this is fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking great. This is uh, I, yeah. I just yeah. feel like you know we would we would talk about you know her summer home in the Hamptons. Yeah, she'd tell me about the yard and. Yeah. The three dogs in which I completely ignore the whole part of that conversation. Yeah. She would wear a lot right. of sweaters, talk uh, about how she wants to go to the lighthouse, we would, Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She, you, uh, yeah. yeah. We'd probably be in Boston for the day. So you guys like, are making me sure want to eat cyanide right We would now. go to like, <laughs> end the room. night at an Irish pub. Mm, uh, that's nice. Doing car bombs and, mm. and then probably have very vanilla sex. 
Yeah. Good. Like where you, where, where, where you keep solid. making yeah. out and you like go to grab something. She's like, not yet. And you're like, yeah. you make out with It's solid like mish minutes? sesh with yeah, your yeah, shirt yeah. and it's your socks like, on. It's yeah. slow yeah. mish, socks still on. Yeah. Oh, socks on. Slow like, mish, yeah. socks on, yeah. Yeah. Slow yeah. mish, yeah. socks on. And I, and I keep, I can't stop saying, oh, Kate Mara. <laughs> She's yeah. like, it's just Kate. Oh, uh, okay, Mrs. Got, Mara. Oh, Kate Mara. Somebody's got to make that shirt. It can't be Black Rifle. Oh, Avengers 3. Slow mish, socks on. Hey guys, socks on. <laughs> Check it out. I'm just a slow mish socks on guy. You know, I'm more socks on kind of guy. I'm more, I'm more gatherer. gatherer. Yeah. This is not my thing. Socks guy. You know, <laughs> ah, that's that's what I'm in. You know, they could replace you can, that. You can keep that. I'm use that. Like, like you look like a slow mish socks, socks guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, you look like a slow mish socks guy. Ooh, you're a slow yeah. mish socks guy, aren't you? Yeah. You know, I'm into a good. I, uh, the, the the regular Corolla is fine. I don't need the S model. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. need the, the S Corolla. model. I want the like basic I, Corolla model. There's I, uh, something about it that just solid says cloth economic. interior, no overdrive. Because I'm never going to find myself in a situation where I need to do, do 65. You, and you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Do any of you to ever fast. just pick out random people while you're sitting in the airport and imagine your first fight? Like in a relationship fight? Like a fist fight? Or a fist fight? Any and everything. I do it all. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> I do. I, I do. I, can go I real I, deep when I'm in airports. Okay. All right. I, I, I do. Uh, I, I do Tom the same Cruise. thing. I really want to fight Tom Cruise. Do you really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. You would beat him up. Yeah. Very quickly. He's a, he's he's a pretend person. Yeah. Yeah. Not a real person. He pretends to be. What if people. he's really sweet? I, mean, I don't care. I mean, yeah. like when you meet him, I mean, like an actor your hand, that you'd want to like, fight. Got you. Oh, that's, that's a good fun. one. I like yeah. that. You just throw boxing gloves at him. Tom Cruise, put your fucking gloves on. Yeah, yeah. take your oh. pants off. We're doing this yeah, risky yeah, business yeah. style. Risky business yeah. style. Slow mish boxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Slow mish boxing. Let me just go ahead and hike these shorts up to the bottom of your thighs. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's yeah. see those top Oh, okay. I can smell that from here. <laughs> An actor. <laughs> Once that b-hole hit the air, it was over. <laughs> An actor you'd want to fight. Who's wh- who would be the actor? You have to have very strong feelings about actors that you you would want to punch in the face. You know what? I do. I I have before, but like I can't think of any now. Like I, I mean, that's all I used to use Twitter for was to threaten famous people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good it's a good you know use. It's, a it's a good, good use of the platform. Like the only like, good use yeah. of the platform. I'm, I'm like split in between who would I want to challenge myself to fight and then who do I just want to beat the fuck out of if right. like it was, you know, sanctioned or you, whatever. Hey, we're in imaginary land here. You can But I'm saying I'm, just, I'm trying I'm trying to go through both in my head. I don't know. Yeah. It's tough. Tough it's one. Tough decision. You know, Matt Damon I feel like if probably Evan, needs a good if, like, ass if we kicking. saw yeah. like a uh, a boxing match between Evan and Kevin Hart. Oh, like man. that would be really entertaining. Yeah. I really like that guy. He's funny. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yes. We'd, it, I'm I would like want equal a, matchup. A, a, I wouldn't size, want matchup. A very equal he's a, he's a very funny person. But you guys could do a sparring like, session and be cracking jokes in yeah. between. Like, man, you hit me in the face real hard because right, Kevin Hart's right. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to hate him to fight him. True. True. That's very true. But that's more on the context of you would enjoy the fight. Like, this is an interesting fight for you to take. Not, I want to punch that person in the face. Yeah. And not yeah. because it's actual or going to happen. Just like, ah, don't like your face. Don't like the way you talk. It's just, you know, that 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 thing. I, you know? I see where you're getting at. I, I just think a fight between you and him would be so entertaining. Like, hmm. I would, hmm. would be convert. a lot of- to trans and fight Alyssa Milano for her Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, if I one. win, I get to take control of her Twitter. Right. Oh. I, you know what? You know one of the guys that I just, I can't see an image of him without it in, in like, making me a bit angry is Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, yeah. like for oh. whatever reason, his, his style of humor, the way that he talks down, the way that he's like, just the way that he positions. Really? Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. It's really annoying to me. Very annoying. It's gotten worse. I used to kind of enjoy Jimmy Kimmel like way, I, no, way no, back in the day. No, I used to when it was like the Man Show when yeah, he was on there with Adam cool. Carolla. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, he was hilarious. But the last few years, like God, man, it's the mm. same thing with like Steve Carell was fucking hilarious when he was on the Daily Show. When he's Steve in Carell, comedy, yeah. And when he was on the, the Comedy Central, not Steve Carell. Um, uh, who's 
What? Yeah, Colbert. Mm. He was he was hilarious. Was yeah. But now it's just like, oh, man, uh, you guys are just they like, had to put a muzzle on all those guys, so they just they they just whatever. they're that's fair. They they did that. There was a um, multi season thing back in the day, and it had like Stephen Colbert, um, Amy, whatever. It doesn't matter. It was like a multi season thing where he was. It was about high school, about this drug addict woman that went back to high school when she was in her thirties, and and they the, all these other people were in this high school. It's a Comedy Central series. It was fucking hilarious. I wish I could remember what it was. It was like, um, I can't remember what it was. But can you look that up? What was it called? Yeah. So it's like there was a few people in that that became really famous later but that series was out of control it was fucking nuts i think logan and i should go back to college on a campus yeah, yeah. yeah. i would watch that show right? i would too just for like a semester you know what yeah. we should do but it's out to sea in international Here, waters here's a great <laughs> market, here's a great marketing talking. idea Let's go start a fraternity on yes. a college campus. Okay. Let's go right. buy a house and Let's start a fraternity. Start Let's a fraternity. actually do Magnet, old school. Loom, yeah. coffee. Let's go yeah. do old school yeah. Yeah. for real. I'm ready. And that would be I mean, technically, hilarious. you can, you, you can, go, you can yeah. go to, wait, you can go back because, well, we both have bachelor's. We just go over and get our master's. Or no, we just get another undergrad. It wouldn't matter. Like, we, apply, yeah, just do some liberal arts. You don't even have to go to school. You just Semantics, like, okay. Yeah, I don't have anything. I can go. Like, but it doesn't matter how old you are, right? You What's up, guys? It's not like athletics. It's not like a red shirt series. Yeah, you, you can just, just go, go back and be like, yeah, I'm fraternity 35 guy in college. Yeah. I'll do it. We, it's great. we can take new fraternities. fraternities. Dude, yeah. I'll what be on it? the cheerleading team. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those spotlights. Get them I've never seen Matt so excited <laughs> about his new hobby, cheerleading for the college. <laughs> it's amazing. Surprise. <laughs> what is it? No, no. No, it was like a candy, like uh, Strange, just, strangers, strangers with candy. candy. Yeah, strange. God damn, yeah, strangers with candy. That thing was crazy. Yeah, it was a it was crazy series. Bananas. It was bananas. It yeah. was, it was hilarious. It was old school, good Comedy Central. Then, yeah, back in the day when they yeah. actually could, you know, put you know something a, on air. A that really was good decent. show that was shown showed me recently was Have you heard of Loudmouth? The cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. I suggest Loud that to you. Loudmouth or Big Mouth? Big Mouth. Is it Big Mouth? Yeah. Oh, Big Mouth. Big Mouth. Didn't you say Big Mouth? I said Loudmouth. Loud loud oh, yeah. Big Mouth. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, the monsters. They have like their like their hormone monsters. And it's fucking awesome yeah, because right. you'll have like the kid and he's like, oh, I, I shouldn't it's look really at her and the hormone monster comes out like, rip her pants down and fuck her pussy. And you're like, like, it's, three, it's gnarly. It's, a, it's like four years It's like old school comedy, but. It's old. Come out like four years ago. Yeah. I don't Jared know. told me about that like three years ago. I don't know. I don't watch <laughs> no, shows. I just got that I recently got turned on. And to now it. you could now you have like 30 episodes to catch up on. Perfect. Then, you can binge watch on a great. Sunday. The other series right now that I've been watching that I'm catching up is Fargo. The series. The series. It's is a Coen Netflix? Brothers. It's a Coen oh. Brothers. No, it's Amazon. It's a Coen oh, okay. Brothers series called they Fargo. They did a series too? They did a series. I it is. Know. Well, I know there is a series. Is I didn't know the Coen Brothers did it. Epic. <laughs> like, epic. Incredible. I it's Coen series Brothers series. in a long time. Hmm. And How the fuck started. do you get better than that? Yeah. Like, you get a Coen Brothers different episodes every night. It's fucking Yeah, crazy. I just don't like shows like that. Like, it's so cold. It just reminds me of my childhood. Um, yeah, yeah. So well, I cold. started Invasion last night, and that's pretty pretty cool so far. What is that? That's Apple Plus series. Uh, that's pretty Invasion. Invasion. Is it about aliens? Yeah, but it's like it's a slow roll. Like they're coming right now. Really? Yeah. The ISS just got fucking fucked up. Like, I'm just on episode three. So really? It's, like, it's pretty cool. Like they did it real. Like Apple. Are you talking about like ice? And then, no, you know, no, no, Mac, no, like, no, no. The, like space aliens. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah, the ISS. Who was it tracking? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like it. <laughs> I was with you. I was on that we were, we were yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we were there. The he aliens. knew where he was. Right yeah, like well, we're not yeah. talking about Miami and Cubans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I do want to go to Miami for a combination of reasons. There's a guy, uh, coach, he's he's got a radio show down there. He talks about baseball all the time. 
and we were talking about Miami and their coffee scene in Miami, like the Cuban coffee scene. So I guess it's amazing. And I really want to do a coffee trip down just to Miami and go to Cuban coffee shops, like second generation Cuban coffee shops from guys that were exiled from Cuba. The stories from that would be so, oh, so epic crazy. too. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Because and I want to meet these some of these Cubans are still alive we'll, from the we'll Bay of do Picks. our camping trip in Dude. Miami in my yeah and camping are, trip yeah in, in Miami, Miami and then we'll yeah. tour coffee shops. There are two names of men in my lifetime that have never let me down. One of them is Coach. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 The other one is Dirty Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Coach and Dirty Andy. <laughs> Coach and Dirty Andy. Anytime yeah. you meet anybody with those two mm-hmm. names, you know it's going to be great. Yeah, you know it's going to be great. <laughs> Don't. Well, well, that was a we went was an we, interesting we, episode. We went around. Yeah, we went around. We did. Yeah, we did the things the and the thing. stuff. We did. Bye bye. That concludes today's training. Any questions? <laughs>